Welcome back to my channel everybody. My name is Rick Bork. If you haven't seen my channel before, well, you need to get on it. Just saying. So let's go over here and check my wood boiler. Maybe give you a brief run around of this thing. This is a heat source one. We uh, put this wood stove in last fall. I didn't have time to make a video and all that. And as I've explained to you before, I had other things to take care of. But heat source one, I did, got this in a little bit of a horse trade. This thing's been phenomenal for us. We used to have an indoor stove. You can probably see the chimney sticking up above the cattle trailer there coming out of the house. It's not hooked up to anything anymore. Just haven't had time to take the chimney down yet. This thing has been incredible. Constant heat, check it twice a day. The other one we were checking every four hours. So this is our main control switch. Main control switch, you shut the main control switch off. Turns the light bulb on out here. We can take a little bit of a peek in here. I'll get you down low so the smoke doesn't get the camera. A little bit of fire going. Shut that. Now we turn the switch back on. Give the smoke a minute to clear here. This is my control panel. Now it says 124 on it. I should be running about 165, 170. I didn't put a whole heck of a lot of wood in there last night and so the temp dropped a little bit. Which that's okay because I had time to clean some ashes out of it this morning and stoke her back up, so it's all good. One modification I did have to make to this thing is there used to be this little light right here. And that was our low water level indicator. Well, the sensor inside the water jacket actually shorted out and melted. So we went old school on this thing. I could have went and got a new sensor. A new sensor was a couple hundred bucks. I figured why. We made it simple. We put in a ball valve with a fitting and a piece of clear hose. So this is our sight glass. Now you can see the coolant level right here. No science behind it. don't have to make this stuff complicated folks I mean it's uh, it's relatively easy now you, you see this valve over here that's for our what they call an expansion bladder so as your coolant heats up I have I'm running actually antifreeze in this thing not just water that's been treated it's actually straight up antifreeze mix 50 50 with distilled water good stuff <clears throat> That expansion bladder, when your coolant heats up, it expands. So all it is, basically, it's an inner tube connected to a hose. So when that ex water or coolant expands, it can go into that inner tube, and when it contracts, it can go back into the water jacket. Not a big deal. Now this has the heated door on it, or cooled door, I guess. Depends on how you want to look at it. It's actually to cool the door to keep from warping. So that's why you see the hose is connected there. Let's take a walk around back here kind of the business part of this thing now you got see we got a little extra coolant here in case I need to top off I can pop pump it in there now we did have a little bit of a temporary leak right here you can see it's been dried up this is the pump that goes to the house this is the pump that goes to the garage pretty straightforward some ball valves clean out for the chimney that's actually a auger clean out for the bottom of the wood boiler that auger clean out and eh, I've had better luck just shoveling the thing out and I could pull that if I shovel it out good I can reach in there with my fire rake and pull that first grate out and shovel that trough out that the auger goes in because there is an electric attachment you can put on that or manual attachment eh, I know how to run a number two shovel pretty darn good so that's what we use. So that's just a quick overall view of our outdoor wood boiler. Like I say, this thing's been phenomenal. And you can see she's 20 below. She's chugging away. And if I load that thing up good with wood, I can be gone for the weekend, come back, and it's still got coals in it. 
still heating house just fine even at 20 below if i pack that thing full of wood i can go two days i love it so if you guys are looking for heating solutions consider it they don't make those ones anymore but there are good ones out there i do appreciate you guys watching like subscribe comment and share we're gonna jump over and do something else so go check that out too we'll see you again next time